All right, we're going to look at how to run a Python script from the command line in or on a Windows machine. So first of all, I have a directory. It's an empty directory. I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to create a new text document. Um, and this document is not a Python document at this point, but I'm going to change it into a Python script. So I go ahead and in order to see what the extension is, so this is actually new text document dot txt. If I right click and I go to properties, I can see um, that it is a txt. If I go into details, I can actually see it's new document or new text document dot txt. But I can't see it right here and I can't change it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to my options. And in my options under view, you can then um, uncheck this hide extensions for known file types. Click that. And when I apply, you can see that it suddenly shows this .txt. So I go and click OK. And this will be a system wide change that makes things nicer. So I go ahead and type in hello.py. And then it asks me this warning about wanting to make sure I change it. And I click yes. So now it is a Python script. Now I have Python already installed on my computer. And if you need in information about how to do that, you can go to python.org. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a command prompt. And you can see it starts in my user and is Joseph. It's kind of cut my name off. But that's okay. I'm going to select up here and do control C to copy that and then jump over here and type in CD and then I'm going to right click to paste it. You might have to do something else to paste, um, but that's how I do it. If your drive letter, so I have C colon doesn't match what's here, it will change the directory on that drive and then you have to just type in the drive to switch over. So it was like C or D or any other drive, and you can see it jumps into the correct drive. At this point, I can type in DIR to see the contents of the folder. I can see there is an empty hello.py file. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink this for now. And I'm going to right click this and I'm going to edit it with my Notepad. So in Notepad, I can go ahead and type in my Python script. Normally, um, your interpreter is on Windows. It understands that just the .py extension is run by the Python interpreter. If not, you might have to go ahead and do a a starting line right here where you do uh, hash uh, exclamation point and then the path to the interpreter um, on Linux machines is usually a user bin Python or something like that or Python 3. Uh, it could be something like that. It could be C colon slash slash and then you type in the thing. Um, either way, um, it's not necessary for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it out. And I'm going to just do a print hello world. And at that point, I am done with my script. I can save this. I can go ahead and pull up the command prompt. I can do a directory listing again. You can see that the size of the file has changed. And I can type in hello.py to run it. And then you can see it prints out hello world. And that is how you do it. If it doesn't run right here, you can troubleshoot, figure out why it's not working. You can also go in and make some modifications to your program. You can jump back and forth, um, make modifications, add code, remove code, modify code, and then just run it again when you're ready. There you go.